Hi, my name is Aru and I am from Malaysia. Hi, my name is Edno and I'm from Venezuela. Hey everyone, I'm Mitzi Jonal Tan, a climate justice activist based in Metro Manila, Philippines. Hi, I'm Nomja Sinine from South Africa. My name is Eric Njuguna from Kenya. My name is Fia Gutierrez and I'm from Colombia. For some people, the climate crisis is a crisis of the future. But for us, the consequences are felt every day. Floods, wildfire, the contamination of our land and of our resources. For marginalized groups and people with lower income, it is almost impossible to recover from such events. That is why these countries are called MAPA, most affected people and areas. The Philippines is so vulnerable to the climate crisis, the three strongest storm landfalls in recorded history all happened in the Philippines. Countries with high CO2 emissions had and have a significant role to play in the rising global temperatures. And us MAPA countries are experiencing such climate disasters now. In Colombia, there has been a historical debt to our territory. We were a territory conquered and we are still suffering the consequences of the colonization. Meanwhile, the countries in the global north pretend to be fighting against the climate crisis, but at the cost of our country's resources. And this pattern is historical. It has never stopped. As we have people drowning on one side of the world and people dying of thirst on the other side of the world. And this is a reality because of the global north countries with the highest CO2 emissions. And this, this is also why these global north countries have that responsibility, that historical responsibility for the historical injustices done to countries in the global south or MAPA countries. We have to stand together because we will be the last generation that is able to speak about this and create real change. We need to come together for climate justice because marginalized communities, indigenous communities and people of color are the most affected by the climate crisis. This is the heart of the climate crisis because we cannot fight for climate justice if we don't fight for social justice too. Not everyone faces the same effects on the climate crisis and it's our duty to start recognizing those uh, historical oppressions on the indigenous communities and the countries that have been colonized, such as Colombia. It's important we stand together for climate justice, to show that we will leave no one behind, that we stand together and we will continue to fight. We need those in the Global North, especially to fight with us, to come join our fight because this is a global problem and so we need a global united solution.